Okay, we want to discuss today how to go through a Gen 4 and find your online software updates so that you can update the display with a with your MTG modem instead of using a USB drive. That way no one from the dealership would have to come out with a USB to update the displays. First thing, always, whether I'm doing an update with a thumb drive or over the air, you want the vehicle cranked and running. If you ever lose voltage while doing the update, you will actually blank the entire vehicle and it takes almost a day to get it back up and running. So always be sure before you start updates that the tractor or combine or sprayer or any vehicle is cranked and running. If you're doing over the air, you want to have had the tractor running for about 10 minutes so you can be sure that you have your cloud with your arrow pointing up, meaning you have MTG connectivity so that the MTG or the cell phone in the vehicle has got signal. What we will do is we'll hit our menu button. We will go to system. We will go to software manager. And at the top, it says check for updates online. You have to have version 17.1 uh, on the vehicle, which is uh, software version 10.8. If you are earlier than that, you will not have the op option for check for updates online, and you will have to do them with a USB. But if you're doing over-the-air updates and you see that button, we will check for updates online, and the vehicle will then start checking for software, which can take three to four minutes. Okay, it took about a minute and a half for it to check, but it has now come up and found that there are AMS updates available to take me to version 10.9 for both AMS, the Gen 4, and the help version all need to be updated. So from this point, it would it's just like if it was USB. I will touch install. Make sure you have the vehicle cranked and running just like we would if we were doing it with a USB. I'll hit accept and the machine will start to an install just like we're used to if it's a USB. This update is not any quicker. It will still take you somewhere around 45 minutes uh, to an hour to do, but at least you don't have to have a USB for each machine. You can go crank as many as you have around, tell them all to start updating, and the, and the machines will start working. So as you can see, it is uh, downloading the software now and it will keep uh, each section will get done until the down until the update is downloaded and installed on the machine okay it took about eight to ten minutes for the software to download uh, for that top step it's now validating the software that was downloaded once that has been done the installation will proceed after uh, the installation goes through uh, that is when the display will ask to reboot. The display will reboot and you'll see a black screen with a gray bar come up and start going across. This is when your 45 minutes to an hour can begin on actually getting the display updated and finishing. Like I said, be sure the tractors are running uh, when all of this started because no power can be removed once the updates have begun or you will cause the tractor to lose all of its controllers and memory. So that's how we go in, find an update online, let the software be downloaded through our MTG without having to use the USB to update the display. If we were using a USB, we would place the USB into the USB holder next to our cigarette lighter and the same process would begin uh, the screens would look exactly the same you just would not have checked for updates online to do the update so hope this helps everybody know where to go to check for your updates online and we can get our tractors updated much quicker this way than having to run around with a lot of USB drives thanks